Hello, my name is Bill, and thank you for finding my video again. Uh, once again, I'm building a photo booth, and you've seen several of my videos already. Uh, putting on the laminate uh, uh, onto the wood. Um, what I didn't show you is the cutting of the actual aluminum, and that really takes some time. A lot of sawing involved. I did use a hacksaw uh, in my entire cutting, and I'm still on the same hacksaw blade. So it's still still going strong. It's an average blade. Um, you don't have to get anything really fancy for that. Um, cut all my aluminum. Uh, discovered that my aluminum can be smaller in the corners. Um, one full length doesn't even have, even have to be full length for your corner to cover it. Uh, even if it's not all the way to the corner, it's going to cover. So keep that in mind when cutting all your aluminum. Uh, keep in mind that your angle aluminum, uh, your double angle aluminum, your double angle aluminum is only going to be on the bottom, the sides, and that is it. Keep in mind that the, that the inner top where the two pieces are going to clamp together are going to use your grooved angle your groove brackets. Here's one right here. Okay, groove bracket. So when you're cutting your angle bracket, your 90 degree angle brackets, you're only going to need them on these corners, this corner, this corner, and these corners. And that's it. Okay? You're not going to need it on the other side of your of your box. Um, those two boxes will be clamped together, therefore you don't need these here. So you're going to find, as you cut them, you want to cut them a little bit smaller than the actual size of your wood. And one side, doesn't matter which side, heck, this, we could even cut off a quarter inch more in here. I don't want to cut off any more on this side, but you'll see that it doesn't have to make it all the way to the edge. In fact, they can't make it all to with the edge because they, they can't overlap. These guys cannot overlap. Okay? What's going to overlap is your corners. What I'm going to quickly do is put all one corner. I have it uh, roped together. Uh, as you go, you're going to have pieces of a puzzle. You're going to have all your angle brackets and you're going to have your laminated wood. So you have to put your laminated wood together like a puzzle and strap it together, okay? There's lots of um, uh, tools out there you could use for this. I'm just using a plastic rope for it um, to make it tight. Putting it together, make sure everything is seated, and then I go ahead and start putting on the bracket. This corner bracket is not going through your aluminum, so this is still going to require rivets, not just here. Otherwise, this could actually slide around inside. This piece isn't going to slide around because it's on the edge. This piece could, so you don't want that. So let's go ahead and drill a couple of holes. Okay. Remember, when putting on this rivet, this rivet's going to have wood behind. It's going to require a backup washer. Okay, it's going to require that or it's going to go through the wood. Now. During my building of this, I, I did miss a few. Um, it does go inside the wood a bit. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too much for future uh, moving around and bouncing around the box. Um, but uh, if you miss a couple, it's not an end all. Um, but you don't want to miss them. Okay? Um, I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to start doing some riveting. Welcome back and thank you for finding my video. Okay, I've drilled the holes. I'm about ready to put my corner brackets on. Uh, keep in mind, even after you've drilled your holes, you might have to pilot them a little bit more, uh, finish them off a little bit more. So, okay, we're going to start our riveting now, as I promised in our last video. Now, this is actually my second rivet gun I've had to purchase. First rivet gun supplied by, uh, well, you know, I can't remember exactly who I bought it from right now, um, but uh, there's really no brand name on this bad boy. Uh, if you see yellow run, I guess, uh, go for a little bit better brand name. I went with Ace. This one's working really good for me. I'm happy I found it. This one, 
Trash. Alright, so, uh, go ahead and do your, some research on your rivets. Uh, maybe watch a few videos on how to use them as well. Uh, one thing you always got to remember is the backup washer. The backup washer is very important. Now, on Reliable Hardware, where I bought my most of my most of my stuff, um, it actually gives you the right size of everything. So I went ahead and bought the stuff from there. Uh, keep in mind, if you're buying it from other places, n know your washer size and know your rivet size. Um, if uh, rivet knowledge uh, was masters was a ten. And uh, preschool is a one. I'm at, I'm at about four, three or four. Not enough to repeat it, but enough to understand it and then uh, double check things and make sure I have the right ones. So uh, this one here is going directly into the wood. Once again, you remind, remind, remind yourself to use the backup washer. I'm not going to show you the backup washer in this video. I'm just going to show you the the front end of the rivet. Um, one thing you have to keep in mind, some of your hardware may need some pre-drilled holes, uh, resizing of the holes. Uh, this did require a slight resizing, um, and I guess I have to resize it. I didn't do a very good job of resizing it. So, a little slow down, sorry about that. Let's do it again. that washer stays on or else it's going to start pulling through the wood and you don't want it to pull through the wood. Two. So with my other rivet gun, it really took a long time to do it and it actually, it actually took forever. Okay, so we get to see more issues. Alright, once again, let's do it this side. Extra little steps might cause you to forget that backup washer. Don't forget your backup washer. But then again, you forget a couple, you're not going to forget anymore because you get disappointed that you that you forgot it. Okay. Yeah, this river gun is working extremely better. I'm very happy that it is. Say it as many times as you need to. Remember, your, remember to put it on. What? I bet you I forgot that backup washer. I did. I forgot it. But guess what? There's no going back once you forget that backup washer. Yeah, you can do it all out if you want to, but chisel off the tip if you want to. But once one here and there becomes a bad thing, but one here and there is not the end of the world. So I make sure I, I make sure I remember those as I move on. I'm going to finish all four corners and I'll be back in a minute. 